the older I get, the more chaotic I get. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaliyah. I'm from the class of 2022. I was born in Australia. I lived there till I was eight. And then from Australia, I moved to Switzerland, and then I lived there for another eight years. And then from Switzerland, I actually moved to Singapore. So I spent my last two years of high school in Singapore. I went to UWC. Um, but I wasn't always expecting to come to Singapore for high school. I was actually expecting to go to Beijing. And I remember the time, like, I... It took me so long to be okay with the fact that I would be moving to China. I was like, oh, my whole life is being uprooted, like, I'm finally okay with it. My mom was like, actually, uh, no, we're not going to do that anymore. We're actually going to move to Singapore. And I was like, mama! I feel like I really find home in, like, people. And that sounds so cheesy, but I don't really have, like, an identity or a home. That's why I always feel like the question when people ask, like, where are you from? Like, I think that's so difficult for me to answer. Because I moved so many places when I was, like, young, um, I'm also mixed, so my mom is from Myanmar, and my dad is from England, so there's not really, like, any place I can, like, pinpoint, be like, that's my home, so I've sort of become happy with the idea of sort of finding home and people and things and, like, memories and, like, areas where I feel comfortable, so, like, honestly, like, at the moment, like, I would probably say, like, Yale in the US is one of my, like, key homes, Singapore is my home because my family is here for the time being. I have some ties to Australia as a home because that's where I shared a lot of childhood memories. But in terms of like how I see home, it's I don't think it's by any like geographical place. Yeah. I had a lot of goals in my life. Like um, I saw this thing this morning that I was tagged in um, and it was basically like when I was a child, all my big goals were like, oh, I want to be an inventor and invent this like amazing app. I want to save the world. I want to be like the most famous person in the world. I don't really want any of that anymore. Like, I don't need that sort of legacy to be remembered. <laughs> Life in its ups and downs has taught me that like, all I really want, and this is again like so cheesy, but it's so true. Like all I really want is to be like happy. Um, I think I would ask the world a big how are you. I think that's a good question. A nice good question. Um, yeah, I think I've, I've found a great value in receiving that question <laughs> as of late and asking that to others. That was probably all I would ask. I'm not going to say some sort of wonderful poetic thing. I have left those days behind me. I just want to see how you are, world, because sometimes it seems like you're not doing so great. Maybe you are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would find out by asking the question. I could be a fruit. What fruit would I be? A tomato because it's unexpected <laughs> that's it you think the tomato is a vegetable it's not it's a fruit and everyone is so annoying about it all the time so I would be a tomato also I feel like the tomato is just like very soft inside that's me I'm also very soft outside I don't really put on a <laughs> I'm not really like trying to hide it but I'm just a bit I'm a bit of a baby <laughs> a bit of a soft child so I'd be the I'd be the tomato, which is bad actually, because I don't really like tomatoes. Oh, but they're also versatile. You can put them in lots of different things. Yeah. I have a very particular thing for ice cream, okay? So I have a list in my phone of like every single ice cream place I want to visit in Singapore. I want to clear that list, and I want to put that list in three other countries and clear that as well. Whether that's interesting or not, I don't really care. It's interesting to me. I'll start like an ice cream vlog. That would be probably the the most interesting thing on my bucket list. It would also allow me to clear a lot of traveling to countries, but that's too boring of a bucket list item, I feel. That would be a good one. Also, I want to go bungee jumping. The same, the same day. <laughs> Eat ice cream and then go bungee jumping. That's a terrible idea. 